Hello there, I am Dragon Girl with more with Bond. In the last part, we went, by, we went back to Warnet. We used PSI Beta Teleport to go back to Warnet from Saturn Village. Mr. Saturn Village. And we also um, took up, we walked up the mountain where the meteorite was, and we got the piece of meteorite, which is what we needed to complete the phase disorder 2, I believe. So yeah, so now it's, um, we also teleported back from Warnet to Mr. Saturn Village. And here we are, yeah. So let's talk to Mr. Dr. and Donuts. So yeah, Mr. Doctor and Donuts Wild. Hmm, if if I only had a piece of a meteorite, it might be able to exact extract some uh zexanite. Okay, so let's give it to him actually. Didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Meteorite piece you is Ah yes, that's fantastic. What? Well I've never seen this incredible rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright. We have some. We have everything to us and get some rest. This is gonna be. This is getting most fascinating. Okay, so he wants us to rest up the hotel, so we'll do that. It's always good to get in a good night's rest before a big task, the next day or whatnot. Do you want to slumber? Yes, Kyo. Okay, so yeah, let's continue on then. Talk to Dr. Andor once again. Finally, it's complete. The phase of version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, you can repair your bodily functions. Second, you can save your progress, which you don't really want. As I said before in the last part, don't be afraid to get right in. There's just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're you optimally outfitted. Ness I mean, Jeff and Paul are not. Paul and Jeff are not optimally that, at that level, but that's okay. We can still go. Even if it's not your 100%. Are you ready to go? Even if it's not 100% perfectly, completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible. It, is, it would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. If I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. And I guess they're complete now because we're all ready. Good at last. The time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the Phase Disorder 2 version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, you can improve your bodily functions. Second, it'll save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. Okay, we'll get right in then. I don't know how the, the, the door never opened or anything. It's just kind of like Phase 2, like a ghost. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this place looks familiar. We finally returned to this place. We saw a little glimpse of it, but we couldn't really do much because it was a dead end the first time we went through here. So if you check it right here, input command, you can just wipe up, I guess, which will hear your HP and PP, which is nice. And yeah, this has some great music, and then uh, communicate, which I won't really bother with right now, so that's good. Here's the Starman Master. Okay, greetings, so you're finally here. Yeah, awesome, he heals up your team, member, team again, party members. So we healed up three times, you know, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Ex excellent, you are truly excellent. There is... Only a little bit of time left. I'll give you the last power. Okay, yeah. I must go now. Okay, and he goes off. Pooh became conscious of PSI Starstorm Omega. Cool. Let's talk to this Mr. Saturn. Kidnapped I was doing. Kidnapper, bad guy. Bad guy gone. To zoom, where? To the past. Ding ding. And here's the phase disorder one. I think Pokey destroyed it because Pokey just, you know, kidnapped that, uh, Mr. Saturn and destroyed the phase disorder one. And let's check the broken phase disorder one. I think this is a Hona life on it too. Yeah, there was a Hona life. Cool, we take it. Nice. Very worth picking up. And then this, you can't really do anything with this. There's no problem here. It's weird. So, yeah. Nothing really important about that. Yeah. Okay, and if we go back, there we go. The phase of silver has been completed. We we could finish it quickly because of Mr. Sun's incredible scientific skill. Yeah, but as many arms or opposable thumbs, how did he help with the building of that machine? Jeez. Guy guess is attacking from our exact location, but he is attacking from many years in the past. Interesting. Okay. Here's Apple Kid again. You must warp to the past and fight, but... Oh man, there's a butt in that. Like, what the heck? Just tell me. What's wrong? Okay, we here too. Doing... And then the Mr. Saturn right here said the same thing. Kidnapped I was doing. Kidnapped bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding ding. Okay. Let's talk to Dr. Andonuts again. This is very hard for me to tell you, but he walks off into that little section over there. So let's talk to him again. 
In order to defeat Gygax, who is attacking from the past, you must warp it to the past. This can be done by the way of the phase of story 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel, the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot. So you gotta take everyone's brain out and give it to a robot. And yeah, that's yeah, and send the robot to the past. The transfer might uh, means that your spirit will go with the robot. While your body is left behind, it cannot. Pr I cannot promise you. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after battling in the past. Yes, you might. You must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygax by traveling to the past? Well, you want to take out our brains, put them in the robots. You can't guarantee that we'll be okay. And afterwards, once we get this task done, why not? Yes. Hmm. You're accepting this while knowing, uh, while knowing that you are not, you may not be able to return to the current, to your current form, right? Yes. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. So yeah, he's gonna put us all to sleep, thank goodness. Because we have anesthesia, I guess. But he's gonna use a drill to take out our brains. So there's Ness just under anesthesia. He's asleep right now. And then Dr. Annette's just taking out his brain. Same with Paula, you know. She got anesthesia too. Everyone gets anesthesia. He's got to be very careful with everyone's brains, though, because if he messes up, that's bad. But yeah, then he's doing brain surgery on his own son, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. He puts them under anesthesia as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then finally, Pooh. Everyone gets anesthesia. So that's good. You better be very careful with our brains, though. That's, like, very crucial. <laughs> Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate the phase destroyer 3 by your own hand. Therefore, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you save through that bravery is immense. I feel for I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Cool. We better look like cool dang robots. Pretty cool, it's fading to white. Nice. It seems like it's working. And I wonder what we look like. We made it here. We're just a box of robots. I mean, like, come on. We look like little trash can robots or something, you know? Ah, oh, man. At least you can have the Ness's hat, so it's like distinct around who Ness is. Because um, you have to assume that the second one in the line is Paula, the third one in the line is Jeff, and the fourth line is fourth one in the line is Pooh. So yeah, so this has been then my Earthbound Let's Play part. In the next part, we take on the past and hopefully take on like I think Gygas is like un you know like totally just trying to destroy the past as they were saying, and he's gonna go all over all his enemies, his henchmen. And he's gonna try to stop Ness and his friends once and for all. So yeah, so this has been John Cole again. I would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next time on Earthbound Let's Play.